Hey everybody, welcome back to 3 Cog. So today I wanna to give you three things I learned from competing in the tactical games. I competed down at GTI in South Carolina. It was a great time. Uh, it was my first uh, attempt at the tactical games. Learned a lot and I look forward to doing it again. Um, so I'm just gonna give you three quick lessons learned. Uh, so first of all, and I've seen the question come up a few times on, on Facebook. So gear check. The gear check that I went through the evening before the competition started only consisted of them looking at my rifle and looking at my plate carrier. They weighed it. Uh, they did not look at my pistol. They did not look at my gun belt. So all I had to bring up was my rifle and my vest. And your vest couldn't have anything on it at the time as far as magazine pouches, that kind of stuff. Um, I use the slick... Uh, RTS tactical plate carrier with the Jackrabbit uh, kind of flexible weighted plates inside. And it worked perfectly fine for me. And this setup, just like this, minus that, weighed in at, I think, 15.9 pounds. So I was 0.9 pounds overweight. That's why I didn't win. Nope. Uh, the second thing I didn't know about prior to going to the tactical games is athlete judging. So once you complete a stage for most stages, uh, you go dump your gear and everything quickly, and then you are expected to be an athlete judge for the next iteration running through, which means you're counting their repetitions, ensuring that they are doing whatever in accordance with the division that they are competing in. Um, wasn't a big deal. It's just something I didn't know prior to going to the tactical games. So that's why I'm passing that information on to you because me and my brother who I did it with, we had no idea that we were going to have to do that. So just as a heads up, you're going to have to athlete judge. And then the last big thing is downtime. Um, it fluctuates like some stages you'll have three hours before you have another stage. It's a good opportunity to eat some food, take a nap, you know, whatever. But just understand that the downtime fluctuates quite a bit. So you can go from having 20 minutes between a stage to having three hours between a stage. So be prepared for that in the sense of have some shade, like an awning or something you can put up, uh, have some chairs, have some food, all that kind of stuff with you. So those are three things that I learned from competing in the tactical games that I didn't know before I went to the tactical games. Again, super fun time, had a blast. We'll absolutely do it again. Um, and I will do some more videos of this kind of stuff of uh, three things I learned from the tactical games. Thanks for watching 3Cog. See you next time.